know, good morning, happy Sabbath, welcome to the Apopka Seventh-day Adventist Church. And that would be for members and guests alike. My name is George Crawford, this is my wife Reba, and Reba has a couple of things she'd like to share with you. Hi, good morning, Apopka Church family. We love you and are so grateful to be able to worship with you every Sabbath in this beautiful place and to enjoy fellowship with you too. Uh, we're, we're blessed. I want to just let you know that it's time for our church life video and so I know you'll be interested in what's going on here at our church family. This Wednesday, we start something, a new emphasis, a revamped Recharge Wednesdays. And Robert, maybe you can start by telling us what is really the overall emphasis, the big picture of what we're doing in just a moment. I believe uh, the Lord has asked us to amp it up mm. and to, to really uh, focus on discipleship, being disciples of Christ and, and making disciples for Christ. And so in doing that, really expanding what we're offering on Wednesday nights. So in that, in that vein, what we're expanding to is several different options. One of those options is a diving deeper into what we are talking about during our sermon, sermon series, going into the Word a little deeper in the things that we discuss here on Sabbath. And I'll be helping out with that. There's another option called Forgive to Live. And Nolan, you're going to be helping with that. Tell us a little about that. Well, here's my question. Does anybody come in and you sit on one side of the church because there's somebody over on the other side of the church <laughs> that if you saw them, they would just cause your blood to boil? Maybe, maybe it's at the family reunion or maybe it's at church. I would challenge you that your struggle has to do with forgiveness. That's the spiritual side. From a very practical side, it has been documented and proven that there is a direct correlation with unforgiveness and bad health. Thus the title, Forgive to Live. So if you want to live longer, if you want to live better, come join us on Wednesdays and learn how to forgive. Amen. Wonderful. We have uh, an option also for our young people. Joel, tell us about Play and Pray. Well, uh, we are also having, at uh, 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 the same time we're having the program, we are going to be downstairs at the gym doing Pray and Play for high schoolers. Now, Pray and Play is, is when you come, we have a Bible study, we pray. It's uh, relatively short, but, but we try to go deep, and then we go and play. Now, if you're a high schooler and you want to play, you have to show up for Pray. If you don't show up for prayer, you have to sit it down that day. So we want uh, uh, high schoolers to come. We're going to have a beautiful Bible study, and we're going to spend a couple of hours pray, uh, playing uh, uh, basketball and maybe, uh, maybe other things too as uh, we keep growing. So come over. Wonderful. Of course, uh, in our online groups here in Dippity, they're studying through Luke right now. Also a good option with that. And uh, we just want to make sure that you know what's going on. So please come on out, 7 o'clock on a Wednesday evening for our revamped Recharge Wednesday. Good morning, church family. I want to ask you a question. Do you miss some of our elderly, senior church members? What has happened to them? Where are they? Do we care? I want to invite you to come and join us every third Sabbath of the month, which is today at 2 p.m., to go and visit our shut-ins. They really appreciate our visit so much, and we feel blessed when we leave them. Please come and join us at 2 p.m., and we will go and visit some of our shut-ins. Thank you.
By the way, if you notice that my nose looks like it's been in a fight, I've been having cancer radiation treatment on it, but it'll be well soon. And in the meantime, you can just call me Rudolph. And we'll praise the Lord for healing. Amen. Yeah. All right, folks, we'll have a blessed Sabbath as we go to worship now. To God be the glory and his people be edified. Mm -hmm.